is the dawn of a new age. For millennia, mankind has tested their limits with fists and gloves. In the world's oldest sport, fighting. Our world has been forged by the hammer of technological progress. We choose to go to the moon. We have always dreamed about what the future would hold. And we have used technology to make those dreams come to life. For decades, we've imagined giant fighting machines built in our image. That technology is finally here. The age of giant fighting robots has arrived. Two teams, a world apart, are about to do battle. It's time for the giant robot duel. Welcome to the steel mill. So we are inside this venue in Japan, originally designed to pour steel, and now we are here to break it. Hi again, everybody. I'm Mike Goldberg. Expect the unexpected. What you will see today is the first of its kind. My partner, robotics expert, Sara Nadiri, what will we see in these duels? These are the largest, heaviest combat robots on Earth. Imagine being able to move around a car as if it was nothing. The first giant robot in Japan, Karatis. The hit will duel against not one, but two megabots from Team USA. And for more on the strategies, we check in with the third member of our broadcast team, Mari Takahashi. Thanks, Mike. I'll be connecting with both teams throughout the duel to get their strategy, seeing how they're feeling. Emotions are high down here, and it is tense, but there's also a huge level of excitement. I mean, this is a culmination of years of dedication and hard work. It is going to be a dope battle. We'll see you soon. I've been playing giant fighting robot games since I was a kid. This has been the dream since middle school. Like making that science fiction come to life. I never thought it was possible, but like, here we are. Giant fighting robots have been a dream for a whole generation of people, really. Our goal was robot combat from the very beginning. We built Iron Glory to fight at long range and stuck big guns on it. We really wanted our first fight to be huge, so we went straight to the top and challenged Japan to a giant robot fight. Sweet Obashi, we have a giant robot, you have a giant robot. You know it needs to happen. We challenge you to a duel. When they upped the ante to hand-to-hand -hand combat, we realized we actually needed a whole new robot. We solved this the American way. We built a heavier, bigger, more powerful, and way louder machine to beat the snot out of the opposition. That's what we're here to do. That's what everybody's here to see. There's a huge amount of people who want to see this happen, and to give it to them in their lifetime is insane. Two years ago, Megabots challenged Sudabashi to a giant robot duel featuring Iron Glory. Sudabashi accepted the challenge, but on one condition. He wanted to fight hand-to-hand -to -hand combat. So, after years of research and development, Eagle Prime was designed specifically to go hand-to-hand -to -hand against Karate. Tsutabashi came back and said, wait, I still want to fight Iron Glory. So we will feature not one, but two duels. Tsutabashi's Karate will fight twice tonight against two different Megamons. All right, here's how you win. Knock down your opponent, disable their robot, and if for any reason their pilot taps out, you take the match. Let's check back in with Mari, who's with Team Megabot. Now, you guys are about to engage in the first ever giant robot duel. How are you feeling? A lot has led up to this moment. We're really happy to be here, and I cannot wait 
to finally get these robots to start pummeling each other. I'm really pumped. Nice. Now let's talk about game plan. What is your strategy going in? Shoot the big guns as quickly as possible. That's, that's the name of the game here. These things are, the paint cannonballs do a ton of damage. I'm gonna stay light on the joysticks and just try to unload as quickly as possible. Nice, now looking at the Karatus robot, do you see a weakness in its build? Yeah, I would say uh, everything. <laughs> Ooh, those be fighting words. Anything else you wanna add? Uh, I would just like to thank our fans who've been following us for three years now and for the Iron Glory, our sponsors Autodesk, um, Fusion 360, A360, and for Parker Hannafin for bringing us out here. Good luck to you guys. Matt Orline and Guy Cavalcante say that Iron Glory embraces a Western style of fighting. Big guns, brute force, heavy steel, and designed for the highlight reel knockout. I mean, right, just look at those cannons. That right arm can shoot a three pound paint cannonball at 130 miles per hour. They have to shoot fast and ask questions later. Karatis, Japan's first giant robot, mirrors the Eastern style of combat designed to take down a much larger opponent, utilizing speed, agility, and hand-to-hand -hand combat capabilities. Karatis definitely has the advantage of speed, and pair that with his half-ton fist, and I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of that punch. All right, let's check back in with Mari, who's with Team Tsurubashi. メガボッツのチームは黒田スのチームは全てだって何か言い返すことありますか? え、メガボッツと戦うことがドキドキするというよりも、このロボットに乗って初めて戦うってことがちょっとドキドキはしてます。なら最後にメガボッツのチームに何か言いたいことありますかうん、多分あっさり倒されると思うから、シートベルトし
いやもうそれどころじゃなかったねもうよくわかんないからとりあえずまっすぐ行って殴るんだと思ったんだけど<笑>まあ次はイーグルプライムですタクティクス変わりますかえー、っと今回多分倍になってくるから重量が多分そんなに簡単に倒れないと思うんですよだからちょっとまあ,あの作戦はちょっと言えないでわ、ええ、<笑>かりました、まあ、このバトルでは感動しましたよありがとうございます頑張ってください Let's check out the Duel One replay. It looks like Iron Glory's cannonball actually broke in the barrel. It had no effect on Karadas. Matt was trying to aim two guns simultaneously. Looks like he couldn't line up the missile launcher in time. Whether or not that cannonball hit, Karadas was just coming in way too fast. And given how much momentum Karada's had, that punch was destined to knock Iron Glory down. All right, back to Mari, who's with Team Megabot. You, you guys, that was insane. Are you physically okay right now? The fall was pretty, pretty tough. As soon as I saw the robot coming in and, and felt, felt it going over, I grabbed my, grabbed my helmet and tried to brace myself. It was over pretty fast. That, that battle is not how you thought it was going to go. How are you nope. feeling about your defeat?、Uh, I mean, they got in close. Did what he was going to do. You, you've got Eagle Prime coming in now. It was built for this exact battle. How do you think your strategy is going to change? We have the weight advantage for the next robot. I'm hoping the next battle goes better. Good luck to you guys.、Thanks. Back to you, Mike. So it's one nothing Japan, Karada san, and Team Sudabashi. Sara, remember we talked earlier about how Karada s was specifically designed to break down or take out Iron Glory. And it's no surprise they utilize their speed advantage and a very precise attack. But now it's prime time. Time for Eagle Prime. And this Megabot is certainly built for metal to metal combat. I mean, it has so many upgrades. It can fire six times the cannonballs, it has modular weapons and software upgrades. All right, tell me about these software upgrades and what we can expect to see. If you think about it like robot anatomy, Iron Glory had to manually control every muscle. So, one, two, three, it's a little bit slow. Right. Eagle Prime, however, can actually have coordinated joint movements. And they have eight pre programmed moves, so all Matt has to do is push a button and it will do an uppercut. The Americans, Team Megabots, looking to even the score, and we've got the best seat in the house. It's time for duel number two Eagle Prime versus Karatis, our tale of the tech. And we focus solely on Eagle Prime, 16 foot tall when standing, weighs 12 tons, twice as heavy as Iron Glory. And you want to talk about an upgrade, it's 18 times more powerful, from 24 to 430 horsepower. And don't forget, it's bottom heavy. 60% of its weight is in its base. Karatis, Eagle Prime, here we go. And there's the horn. Karatis moving in, taking cover behind that wall of barrels. This is the best it's ever felt. Eagle Prime gets off the first shot, but it looks like it breaks up inside the barrel. The 
second shot is effective, exposing Karatis to another attack. Keep going, keep going. I want to close in on him. Eagle Prime crashes through the barrels. I bet you they can't even feel that. That robot is 12 tons. And there's a third shot. Okay, I hit him. I don't know if it's doing anything, but I hit him. How about this? Karatis launches a drone. He launched a drone. Keep going, keep going. I see it. Don't let it distract you. They've spotted it. They're going to try to knock it out. And they make contact with it. It's on. It's, it's stuck on the cockpit. Look at that. Smoke is pouring out of the drone. He's coming. I see him coming on the monitors. Uh, get me to the car. Let's block him with the car. Let's block him with the car. Landing a huge right hook on the top vehicle there. And it comes crashing down. Nice, 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 nice. Team Megabots is really taking advantage of the 430 horsepower that they have. That allows Matt and Gee to really control the arena with that arm. Okay, go around, go around the car, a little more. Really clearing it. All right, he's coming for us. Eagle Prime, Karatis, engage in close combat. A big body shot by Karatis. Keep in mind. That steel arm, fist is 600 pounds. And another body shot. Kratos looking to do damage. Eagle Prime counters with the claw. Oh, firing a big shot. That connects. And another. Eagle Prime targeting the midsection of Kratos. Oh, check this out. Eagle Prime using that cannon as a battering ram. Targeting the area on Kratos that has a lot of sensitive electronics. I don't think he can move. Eagle Prime continuing to do damage with that cannon. These armor panels are being torn off of Karatis. The robot stopped. The robot stopped. Going safe. Locking out. Wait a second. Engine off. All right, the robots the now appear to be stuck. All right, we really need to swap this cannon out. So Karatis and Eagle Prime are basically stuck. In fighting terms, they're stuck in the clinch. Right, it looks like they hit the e-stop, which immediately shut down both robots. So now it's time to reset, retool, and continue the duel. All right, let's check back in with Mari, who's with Karatis-san. Karatis-san, <laughs> ガンガン感触もあったし、多分多少は聞いたと思うけど、やっぱりちょっと体重負けしてる気がするね。そうですね。で、あの、目つぶし作戦はどう思いました?よ、よく行きました?そこまでは聞けどり、うまくいってる。
Them. Yeah, you guys had some crazy punches. I, for all of us who don't get to be in that, what is that, what is that like? Yeah, it's pretty incredible. You're getting rocked around. Uh, it's it's kind of a little bit scary as forth. you're kind of anticipating, am I going to fall over if I grab them or if I push too hard? So uh, there's a lot to think about kind of how you're landing those tacks. Uh, I can only live vicariously through you guys. Now, what did you think of Karatis' secret weapon? When I saw it launch, I just remember yelling at Guy, saying, there's a drone, there's a drone. Uh, and I really wasn't prepared to see things coming from the sky, but uh, my first reaction was just like, get the claw, try to swat it. Looks like I hit it, but it ended up on the cockpit anyways. Now, I see there's a weapon swap going on. What can we expect from Team Megabots? So I think we realized that once we get in close, the cannon uh, isn't that effective. I was trying to use it as a battering ram as we were kind of entangled there, but I think we need to focus on something that can deal a little more damage up close. I think it's time for some like good old fashioned American melee. I think that's where this is going. There you go, very excited to see you guys. Good luck. Thank Thanks. you. Both robots are now reset and ready. All right, let's do this. Get those arms in the air. Eagle Prime, Karatis, here we go. All right, moving forward. Karatis getting into position, turning slightly. And Eagle Prime takes the lead here, knocking over barrels with that powerful chainsaw. Let's go. That's a four-foot, 40-horsepower chainsaw, and it was originally designed to cut through rock. We'll see how Karatis attempts to deal with this attack. Okay, he's moving. He's firing, he's firing. Those six barrels can fire up to 2,000 rounds per minute. That could easily take out Eagle Prime's cameras. Are those paintballs? What are you thinking? Okay, move over to that light truck. I'll try something. Wow, Eagle Prime has grabbed the lighting truck. It's all coming down, folks. Karatis keeps unloading on Eagle Prime relentlessly. Oh my god. What? Go. Oh, that's awesome. That's ridiculous. If you think about this. Nice. Engaging. And Zara, that truss gets tossed to the side. Eagle Prime approaches Karatis, and now it appears a shoving match is taking place. We got his arm, we got his hand. This thing got up. That chainsaw is now activated. Locking up on his hand. Bumpers are failing. Taking it down systematically. Oh my Man, God, they're coming our way. I don't, I don't what are you worried about? You're the no. robotics expert. That's why I'm scared. I think what we are you go. talking about? Can he get the finish right oh here? My God. Wow. I'm getting close, this man. is crazy. No, I don't. Well, no. what? What? I think, I think Hold no. up. No, get the out of here. I have never seen anything like this. The chainsaw is still eating away at Karatis' shoulder. And we have a winner, Team Megabots, Eagle Prime.
That's how it's done, baby! You know, it's really amazing, the turn of events that has happened here. Karatis came out so strong in that first fight, toppling Iron Glory almost immediately. But then the momentum shifted to Team Megabox. Eagle Prime went on the aggressive, utilized that chainsaw for an outstanding finish. Here comes Karata Sun, showing great sportsmanship. Big smiles all around, a true class act. History has been made. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, obviously things uh, went pretty well for us there. Uh, we've got an awesome team. I wanted to thank uh, everybody who helped put this together. Um, it's it's it crazy. Awesome. It was just an amazing experience. Both fights, I think, were just out of this world. It's what we've been waiting for. This is it. <laughs> and Kurata-san, one word. It's so nice. What does the future hold? Uh, I think it's time to make this a sports league. I think it's time to get some rules, some weight classes, bring this show on the road. Let's do it. Good fight. Uh, Worth it. Thank you. Thank you. What an amazing spectacle. Back to you, Mike. So when it is all said and done, Eagle Prime wins the gold at this first ever giant robot fight. For Sara Nadiri and Mari Takahashi, this is Mike Goldberg saying so long from the steel mill in Japan.